okay, so this UFO hearing, right? Basically, to me, <laughs> it was the government asking the government what the government knows about extraterrestrials and, and shit like that, UAPs. That's why it's hard to take everything that has been said seriously. <laughs> to be honest, we should be having hearings about rent hikes and the student loan debt crisis because unless ET got some kind of card with an intergalactic bank, then I really don't care. I feel like society is crumbling way too hard for these people to be playing in our faces like this. I don't know. Let's talk about it. Okay, so before we even get into it, I just want to preface this by saying that I am obsessed with like space, outer space, learning about it, all that kind of stuff. So just with everything that I learned about space and know about space, I definitely think there is life out there. I do not think that we are the only, I just, I, I don't think that's possible. Even if it's life that we can't really perceive, I just don't think that as big as the fucking universe is, I just don't think we're the only ones. But I think that a lot of what we're seeing and a lot of the shit that we have seen for the longest, um, but a lot of what we're seeing right now is BS and distraction. <laughs> I think that if another civilization is advanced enough to get to us in the first place, they're probably coming from light years away. I mean, it takes 100,000 years for light to travel from one end of our galaxy to the other. And our galaxy apparently, I mean, as far as we can see, has no life in it that we can detect. So that means the aliens or whatever will be coming from further away, further than 100,000 light years away. That means they are po they're powerful beyond our comprehension. This means that the hypothetical alien civilizations technology would be nothing like anything we could even dream of. And we would not be able to detect them if they did not want us to. And that's the, th that's the main point. Um, I'll talk about it more, but one of the headlines said that a whistleblower said that feds had apparently allegedly recovered non-human biological material from a ufo crash site and my thing is like okay so we we have already established that these aliens would have to be super advanced to even get to us in the fucking first place so you mean to tell me that these aliens were advanced and skilled enough to travel through a damn wormhole or whatever or through light years and light years of space and do that successfully but somehow couldn't handle navigating earth's atmosphere which i'm definitely guessing they would have studied way ahead in event or just like why would they even and the most important question is like why would they even want to come here anyway if they are that advanced it would be like us with our intelligence level trying to communicate with ants it's just like for what we could study them we could look at them, we could fuck with them or whatever but it's just like to spend all that energy to get here when you're so much your your perception your level of perception tra would transcend anything human beings could fucking do experience you know what I mean? So it's just like, why? I think it's a lot of arrogance that human beings think that these, ad, if they are advanced or if they are, you know, you, you know what I mean? That these advanced civilizations will want to come here. It's like, girl, we are an anthill. We would be an anthill to them. They would step on our ass and keep it moving. I don't, I, that's what I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And I think it's important to remember also that Congress didn't confirm the existence of anything. The government hasn't confirmed anything. Congress just had a hearing and people just testified. That's it. One of the guys who testified said the government was holding non-human biologics. He's the main one making headlines, um, but he repeatedly stressed throughout the whole time that he hadn't seen anything for himself. He told the panel that he knows of, quote, multiple colleagues who were injured by UAPs. He also said that he has interviewed individuals who have recovered non-human biologics. And it's just like, okay, so your entire test of your entire testimony this whole time was just trust me, bro. And it's just like, okay, <laughs> I mean, until y'all bring out an alien like they did that White Walker in front of fucking Cersei at a dragon pit, until y'all do that shit, y'all can keep this shit on the playground because Rent's still doing the fucking first. I'm so serious. And some people are saying, see, see, this is the, after this um hearing came out or was publicized, they're talking about, oh, some people are like, oh, well, see, the government's hiding stuff and they, they, they're hiding stuff that they don't want us to know. I'm just like, if there was something they did not, they did not want us to know or to be thinking about, they wouldn't have a public fucking hearing about it. <laughs> like, what are y'all talking about? They would not have declassified these videos of military pilots coming into contact with UAPs in 2004. Like they wouldn't have said shit. So, and, and the, one of the other reasons why I think this, a lot of this is bullshit is because I don't think it would take too long. If aliens were really on this hoe, I don't think it would take too long for that secret to be out. It's just, nobody's keeping that shit. <laughs> like for real, girl. Bring, bring E.T. out 
in person. Bring him to the fucking hearings. If that doesn't happen, keep that bullshit out of my face. Keep this shit on the playground. This is from NBC. Three former military officials told Congress Wednesday that they believe the government knows much more about UFOs than it's telling the public. House Oversight Subcommittee held a hearing about UAPs, sightings, and apparent government possession of non-human biological matter. Some uh, some of the people who testified accused the federal government of endeavoring to conceal key UFO-related information from the public, though they did not provide evidence to support those allegations. Um, and this is kind of what I think about the UAPs and stuff. Experts think that they could be balloons, drones, optical illusions, or even the blinking lights of a commercial airliner. Pentagon said they are, Pentagon denying everything. They say they see no evidence linking UAPs to alien activity, though they have not ruled out that explanation. So we're gonna focus on the on like three claims made to Congress by witnesses at the hearing. So the first claim is that the government is in possession of UAPs. David Grush, a former US intelligent official, told the panel that he is absolutely certain that the federal government is in possession of UAPs, citing interviews he said he conducted with 40 witnesses over a four year period. A side note here, at the hearing, uh, the claim was made that the government is retrieving and reverse engineering these UAPs. He said, I was informed in the course of my official duties of a multi-decade UAP crash retrieval and reverse engineering program to which I was denied access. He said that these programs are apparently being funded by uh, misappropriation of funds and that they are outside the realm of congressional oversight, apparently. And he was asked, does that mean that there is money in the budget that is set to go to a program, but it doesn't, and it goes to something else? And David Grush said, yes, I have specific knowledge of that. Although he did not provide more details, claiming the information remains classified. So that's one part of it, that like they are in possession of UAPs. That that's a claim that was made. Another claim that was made is that non-human biologics were found at a crash site. And although he did not personally spot a UAP, he told the panel that he knows of multiple colleagues who were injured by UAPs. He said he also interviewed, so he didn't see this shit. He didn't interact with the non-human biologics, but he said he interviewed individuals who have recovered non-human biologics from crashed UAPs. And he said he prefers to use the term non-human, blah, 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 whatever. Pentagon denying everything. And the last claim that we can focus on here is that apparently a UFO was spotted accelerating to supersonic speeds. This was the, I think this was the video I was talking about in 2004. So David, this, or David Fravor, this former Navy commander said that he and three fellow military pilots spotted a white Tic Tac shaped object in 2004, hovering below their jets and just above the Pacific Ocean. As he descended to inspect the sighting, he claimed the unidentified aircraft, which he said had no rotors, wings, or exhaust, began to ascend and approach his fighter jet. He claimed that the UAP then vanished only to reappear a few seconds later, but this time was spotted 60 miles away. He told the committee that the technology he and his team encountered defies logical explanation. The technology that we faced is far superior to anything that we had, uh, he claimed, and there's nothing we can do about it. So I think this was the main point of it. Well, okay, let me read this because they said that, for, this is from Newsweek. Navy fighter pilot Ryan Graves described the strange behavior exhibited by the UAP during a Category 4 hurricane. Despite extremely strong winds, he said the UAP would be at zero airspeed. So, like, the winds were whipping around this shit, and it was just standing, it was just hovering still regardless of that. So, I think the main point, or the, the what we really should be taking from this congressional hearing is that one of the main goals was just to streamline information about UAPs come up with some kind of process or system for these pilots or whoever to report seeing stuff in the sky or, or seeing whatever. I think that's important, especially because remember when Joe Biden shot down those flying objects, I said this in my description, um, he shot down those flying objects. People thought it was UFOs, UAPs, blah, blah, blah. Oh my goodness. And then it was weather balloons or some shit. It was like absolutely not what people thought it was, right? So even just for the sake of keeping the skies clear and safe or you know, I can understand having a system where people report seeing certain things or whatever. 
I don't know what the T is with some of these UAPs. Maybe some people saw, maybe like, like, like the article said, maybe it's optical illusions. Maybe there is like some advanced tech from a foreign nation or something. Maybe drones are freaking people out, even though like the whole point of it or the whole point of um, people talking about it is the fact that apparently these maneuvers or this technology really defies logic or defies the current capabilities that they think we can humans can do right now um but i so i just don't know what it is either way i just feel like the parts about oh ufos crashing we're recovering stuff and we're reverse engineering stuff none of that i, I just feel like they're playing in, in our fucking faces <laughs> you see what i'm saying i want to reiterate that i do think that aliens are out there but i think whatever this shit is that we're talking about what congressional hearing all this kind of stuff i think this is a fucking circus i think it's a clown show <laughs> I just do, girl. This sums up, this excerpt sums up pretty much how I feel about it. It's from the Daily Beast. I will put the link in my description. It says, Tim Burchett, and Burchett is a Republican representative from Tennessee, practically donned a tinfoil hat when he asked the third and least credible witness, former U.S. intelligence official David Crush, if the administration of President Joe Biden had ever murdered anybody who claimed to have seen a UAP. He said, I have to be very careful discussing any alleged murders, Grush replied, practically winking at the cameras. His testimony included claims that the government had previously recovered non-human biological remains from crashed UAPs and that the government has been aware of the existence and activity of extraterrestrial beings since the 1930s. David's insinuation of high crimes and a government cover-up was a distraction from Graves and Fravor's valid point. UAPs are in our airspace, but they're grossly underreported. So I think that's the side of it to me that makes the most sense. Like I said, we need to make sure that whatever fuck people see in the sky, drone, balloons, what, whatever fuck, um, there's a way for people to report them because... You know, we just want the skies to be safe, especially talking about commercial planes and stuff. You know, I, I just, I think that's valid, especially they seeing and detecting things moving around in the sky. But this not, this aliens being recovered and reverse engineered and aliens showing themselves, I'm like, they would be so advanced that if they did not want us to detect them, they would not be detected. And that's just the T, you know? I think, okay, let's look at some of these headlines, right? So, we have to keep in mind that all of this is going on. Italy is on fire. South Florida waters hit hot tub level, hot tub level, and may have set a world record for warmest seawater at 101 degrees. Scientists are now warning that 2023 could be the hottest year on record. Nearly 100 pilot whales stranded themselves on um, a beach in Albany, a city in Western Australia. And, the, you know, a lot of them had to be euthanized. CNN says this, the Atlantic Meridional overturning current system could collapse around the middle of the century or even as early as 2025 much sooner than previously thought it plays a role in the climate a crucial role in the climate helping regulate global weather patterns its collapse could mean much more extreme winters and sea level rises affecting parts of europe and u.s another headline says this is coming from the uh, smithsonian the Western U.S. is experiencing the worst drought in more than 1,200 years. Human-caused climate change is responsible for 42% of the soil moisture deficit in the last 22 years. A new study finds we got everybody fucking striking. We got student loan debt. We got rent astronomical as hell, wages low as hell. Um, the U.S. loves to spend on defense. And I think that talking about aliens is a way to get people riled up for it. So it's like we got all these things happening and... It's just, we got, we got to focus on our own planet, girl. <laughs> like, we got to, we, I understand it. Everybody talking about aliens in space. Ooh, it's so fun, sci-fi. But girl, we are slowly being boiled on our own planet like a frog in a pot. So, it's just like all this distraction, all this shit, all this talk about, we need to be having hearings about the fact that this world and society is crumbling. And so, when I see these, like, I don't know. It just does not do anything for me, especially because, like I said, at the end of the day, it don't matter if E.T. is here or not. My rent is still doing the first. I still got to pay my fucking light bill and my phone bill. I still got to ask Joe Biden what's going on with the fucking student loan. So it's just like, OK, we can talk about non-human biologics all we want, but let's talk about getting people health care and 
raising these damn wages as well. Because, I mean, we just simply not going to be distracted. <laughs> I want to know what y'all think about all this. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure that you have a good goddamn evening.